So this year we decided to attend the Spear of Hope and the reason we wanted to go to Spirit of Hope was for two reasons. The first was because the Spear of Hope gives back to a charity and that's part of what we try to teach our athletes is how to give back to the community and the Spear of Hope donates to the Hope Foundation. And the second was because we wanted our athletes to be prepared for a two-day nationals before we got to our big nationals cheer sport in February. As my first year coaching, it's really excited to go to our first two-day competition and see how the girls perform both days, see if they can hit um, both days, and see how they handle the pressure after knowing where they're placed on day one. I'm really excited to just like meet some cheerleaders from other gyms. I'm most excited about um, just going in, having more confidence. Well, I'm really excited for my team to go out there with the confidence on the floor that they are now striving to have and achieving But that, and to really put their hearts onto the floor and hit zero. So every once in a while I like to kind of throw a curveball to my staff and when we got to the hotel and in North Carolina it was probably about 35, 40 degrees outside and I noticed there was a pool outside so I made a pact with the coaches and said anyone who was in first place after day one had to jump in that pool. And so we walk in the hotel and then we are you know in the lobby we're waiting on check-in and stuff and Jimmy says hey guys let's uh you want to make a deal? And we're like, uh, I don't know. And then, you know, he's like, you see that pool out there? Anybody who's in first place at the end of day one, jumping in it, right? Surprisingly, they all took me up on the offer. But, you know, anything to help motivate the kids and, and get them inspired for that first day of competition. They didn't have some issues. So with that, um, they had some jump issues, some timing issues, getting those feet back together, um, as well as in running tumbling. Um, we actually had a kid go to the wrong spot, but she was able to get back in and actually get her pass finished. Um, day one, they went out and hit and crushed it. They got zero deductions. They also had like them, some tiny, tiny little minor things like straightened legs and back walkovers and getting people together in the back handsprings. And then they also came out second place out of day one with like .4 left to, from first. Well, they had me in tears because they went out there with their full hearts, put it all on the floor, and they hit their routine and hit zero. And they all came off the floor with their heads held high, knowing they went out there and did exactly what they've been striving to do. So day one, starting kind of from warm-ups, um, they did really well. I think that we had kind of a bobble in maybe the first mat on the stunt. But the thing that I love about Vortex is that they can come into a warm-up room and they can compose themselves for the most part. And then as far as the you know, actual competing, they smack. I think they did, they did really, really well. Um, I think that's probably the best I've seen them do in competition. So after day one, we were really excited. All of our teams were either in first or second place, with the exception of one. And then day two came. Day two was a little bit more rockier than what day one was. At the very, the very beginning, we had a kid get kicked and she just kind of stood on the floor, looked around, and then looked at Jana and was like, I can't do this! And literally came off and melted off the floor. Melted off the floor. 
Jessica proceeds to tell her that this is the team. You got to do it for your team. This girl's out here counting on you. Picks her up, puts her back on the puts stage, on and the she finishes the routine like she nothing gets ever happened. Back on the floor like nothing great. ever happened. Day two, they had a really good warm up like they did day one. Started holding up, getting excited to go out there for day two. The leak stunt went good, and everything else was going good. They get to the pyramid, had a little bobble, and then that dropped them to four. In the warm up room, they were kind of offish. They weren't as hyped as they were day one. We went in going day two and second. We had two building falls. We got 1.5 in deductions. And with that, it actually brought us down to third. And so with day two, um, I mean, they came out of the hole hitting really hard. And then we get to our elite stunt, and then a, a show and go just doesn't happen. It sort of drops out of the sky. It wasn't a step up what we wanted it to be, and it wasn't the best that they could do. From Bacon, Georgia, please welcome the MTA Cheer Extreme Lady Orbit. Now it's the first two-day nationals, so it's our first chance to really show, you know, what we have. Anytime you're at the top, you know, as far as level-wise, um, there's always that pressure. And especially for them, you know, a team that did not hit at the first competition, you have that pressure to go out there and perform. I'm always nervous about the elite stunts. It's a, it's a tough sequence, so when they're going through it, I'm like holding my, you know, crossing my fingers, holding my breath, hoping that, you know, we get through it. And then once we get through it, I realize I'm about to pass out because I think I was holding my breath the whole time. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where I am, you know, as far as looking at a routine. If we hit the elite stunt, we're good to go. So we had some body position issues with the layouts as well as whip tucks being a little off. Uh, and then in the elite stunt, we did have some sync issues with the pike transition as well as the corkscrew. We had two flyers going the same count. Then in running tumbling, we had sync issues with our punch front passes as well as our whip passes. And then we did have a bailed pass. So we'll have to fix that going into day two. Well, you remember when I said when we hit the elite stunt, we'd be good to go? Yeah, I wasn't expecting the prep in the pyramid to come down. When you drop day one, you never know what's gonna happen day two.
One of the things we like to do after a nationals or a competition, whether it's bids that are offered for postseason events, is we like to have a reveal party. This is kind of a way of celebrating if our teams get a bid. So what we like to do is have the teams that we feel like could potentially get a bid and have them all come in and then we watch together to see if we're going to get a bid. It's really neat to watch the kids get excited when they receive the bid. The problem becomes when you're watching this if your team doesn't get the bid. So we got back to the gym, we set everything up for a summit bid reveal party because we were feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I didn't check scores after day two, but I did look day one just to kind of decide, you know, oh, is it something that we could get? Maybe, maybe not. The bid reveal is playing. Uh, the universal spirit, the spirit of hope thing comes up and we're ready to go. There's six at-large bids. So we make it through each at-large bid. And there was already a 4.2 bid that was given away in that. So I'm sitting here thinking, well, we're not getting an at-large bid, so the first paid bid comes up. It's another 4.2. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are we not getting a bid right now? Are we having a bid reveal and not gonna get one? And then our name came up. Well, it's awesome. It's really good to you know have them understand that all their hard work paid off. That's what I like most. I like to be able to look at a team and say, you know what, you did it. Okay, so they made that happen, and I'm super proud of them. But with that being said, it's time to get back to work. And before anyone tries to say I got out jumping in the pool. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Thank you for tuning in to episode two of Becoming MGA Strong. Make sure you check out next week, Friday at 4 p.m. to meet some more of our staff, as well as watch how we get prepped for cheer sport. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends so, that we, can, below. <laughs> so that we can keep this thing going and show how important the sport of cheerleading is to all these kids.